Hello, people that follow Hockey Mania. We are now with another special interview in this connection with Italy, talking to Giovanni Bercelli. First of all, Giovanni, welcome to Hockey Mania. It's a pleasure for us to be talking to you. Thanks to you. It's a pleasure for me. Thank you very much. Giovanni, you are about to release the album 1901, The First Mother. What can you say about this work? Well, it's our first, uh, fourth studio album and uh, it will be released uh, very, very soon on the 5th of May on the Five Flash Record. So we are absolutely looking forward uh, to see what's going to bring to us this next chapter of our musical career. So, yeah. We are super, super excited. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the uh, the other members of the band? Okay, so that's myself, that I am uh, the singer, the lead singer and um, the frontman. And there's Luca Cocconi, which is a guitarist and producer. So basically, that's also the, the producer of the album. Mirko Bennati, which is the bass player. Ludovico Cioffi, which is the other guitar player, and also writes uh, the orchestral part in our uh, records. And Federico Leone at the drums. How did the modern age slavery start? We started in, uh, well, some time ago, in 2007, That's, there were three of us, the first three members that I talked about, so myself, uh, Luca Cocconi and uh, Mirko Bernati, with, other, with another guitar player and another drum, um, drum player. Basically, the three, the three of us, we, we came from, uh, we knew each other already because we played together uh, our, in, a, in, a, in a different band where we were playing also different music, hardcore. And uh, yeah, we had a demo in our hands for songs. And uh, at the Black Dahlia Mother concert, we, we jumped into an old friend of mine and we started the Modern Age Slavery. We sent the demo to... A magazine, Rock Hard Germany, and uh, they they basically said that it was a, a nice one and they named it Demo of the Month. And uh, from there, we started our music career because we signed with a label that that time was Napalm Records. And then uh, that's how we started. And then we played a lot everywhere. And uh, mm -hmm. he, now we are the fourth, uh, at the fourth album and we are super happy to be with uh, Five Flash Records. As I said, that is a... Uh, is a, a label which is uh, somehow newborn from uh, Marcus Wozgen, but uh, I mean, he's a legend, so I'm um, we are absolutely, absolutely happy to mm -hmm. be to be starting this uh, this new adventure with the uh, with this with this label. Yes, mm -hmm. where does the band's name come from? The band name comes from um, a book called uh, Escape Escaping from Freedom. Uh, and in Italian that would be Fuga dalla Libertà that means uh, running away from freedom that's written by uh, Eric Fromm which is a, a philosopher and psychologist in the past basically stands from uh, the the fact that the human beings they tend to avoid the responsibility to be free so they tend to, to leave uh, big decisions to others and that's how uh, basically, self-imposed slavery somehow somehow starts. So that's the the the, the name has a philosophical meaning, so, mm -hmm. sort of saying, and it's inspired by a book. Your first official album is uh, "Demon to Blindness" from two thousand eight. Tell us yes. about this album. Uh, yeah, "Demon to Blindness." Our first record was released under uh, Napalm Records, and it was. Uh, rough let's say very very straight to your face record with a lot of high pitch screams and uh yeah it was recorded after after we signed the the deal with the, with that label and uh, uh, and then we started to yeah to play everywhere it's 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 a record that i still i still uh uh remember with uh, with a lot of heart i mean I, I i i love it it was our first our first album so you know it's the first love <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh then i mean we changed a little bit our not so much because we 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 got that style that i think is our personality still stays there and it will always be there uh, but we evolved a little bit introducing some more let's say 
a black metal atmospheres and uh, also the voice is lowered a little bit as compared to the very first album where it was a lot of scream high pitch scream and uh yeah it's a it's a album where the lyrics they were they were inspired by an italian an italian poem poet sorry uh per paolo pasolini and uh, and then yeah we started uh, we started playing everywhere and uh, we loved it and we kept that attitude uh, also in the other three albums indeed mm -hmm. so in 2013 came this second official album uh, Ricky and for us all what do you say about this work back when for us all it was the second album it was a pure death metal so uh, it was actually also that name was um, that album was named uh, album of the year by metal sucks so we were really, really happy about it. And uh it's an album where basically my 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 bandmates they 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 did everything they can to 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 to, to be let's say extremely uh precise in their playing. It's a super fast album, except the last song. It's it was in a time where where Italy had um a very bad uh, timing in terms of uh, economic crisis so a lot of people were struggling and uh, also that is reflected in the lyrics so we were there are lyrics that they talk about uh, yeah you know bad timing for 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 my country and uh, a little bit of, of of anger about the decisions that they were taken by the the, the generations that they came before us mm -hmm. and uh, yeah that was we uh, at the drum we had another another drummer that was uh, really really precise very very fast and uh yeah also from the we still we still have several songs on the live set from the second album yes mm -hmm. so in 2017 uh, you launched a stygian how about this album Okay, Stijan, basically, that's where we started with the, this lineup. So Ludovico, Zoffi and Federico Leone joined the band. And then you can see that there is their influence in the in the album. So there are some orchestral parts and some uh, also the first song is there's uh, some black metal. Uh, that we are not a black metal band at all because I am not a black metal singer, for instance. So, you know, the, the singing part is always a big part of it. But um, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, when the current lineup started to to play together, so the the, the album I I I I, tr I truly I truly like it. I mean, most most of 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 the, of the songs that we write, I tend not to listen to them anymore because it's uh yeah I listen a lot to them when I when when we record them and uh, and then we perform them live. So usually it's not the kind of music that I listen in my st in my stereo. But uh, some of the songs from that album, especially because the lyrics they were. Uh, 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 yeah, written in a strange moment in time for myself, I still I still like them. And uh, over these uh, 16 years of the band, uh, which moments uh, come to your mind now that you consider most important in your career? I guess one of the of the of the I think the very the difference between being let's say a um, a bunch of friends that they play together and uh, starting to realize. Uh, how it is to, to you know to be out in the street and then play in a with a different mentality i think it was the very first tour we had uh, with uh, that was malevolent creation uh, and we toured and uh, yeah that was the first time for for the all of us that we experienced how it is to be on the road and playing every night and uh, and leaving uh, leaving the metal music uh, a uh, full throttle. I think that was the was the best. Yeah, the moment in our career when we started to to understand that things sometimes they 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 need to be done in a certain way and not just. Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fun, but also you need also some 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 deep mind. I mean, you also to to get stick mm -hmm. to to your own duty and be precise and be on time and <laughs> all, mm -hmm. all sort of stuff. In Italy, in other countries, do you have contact with fans? Oh well, sure, yeah. Well, at the moment, this moment in time, with all the social media and stuff, they yeah, we always get. Uh, uh -huh. Usually, usually, it's live shows. 
we get uh, we get to meet people people they try they start to like us from live shows that also happens to me when i go and and see some bands that i've never listened before and i see them live and i like them then i start to follow them that's uh-huh. that's the usual the usual the usual way but yeah in this moment in time i mean getting to know people that they listen to your music it's easy because i mean it's everything is is, is on the web everything is and it's so easy to get in touch with everyone so mm-hmm. um Plus, uh, also my other band members, they they also have other other um, other projects. So it's always always a big family of people that they 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 share the same the same passion. Yes, mm-hmm. so we get um, feedback, uh, very nice feedbacks from you know all all all, all the places mm-hmm. from Brazil too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, unfortunately, we didn't never can we never came, but yeah, we 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 receive uh, many messages from Brazil. Yes, oh. uh, myself in my in my Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is for old people, and Instagram for uh, younger people. I receive a lot of messages from Brazil. Uh-huh. Yes, maybe yeah. one day you can play in Brazil. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have a new fan here. I <laughs> great. Thank you. Uh, and Giovanni, uh, what do you like to do when you are not involved with music? We all have our, I mean, I am, um, my primary job, I am a university professor and I and I am uh, a, a roboticist, so I build uh, robots. <laughs> Whoa! So that's my, my primary job. Amazing. But, uh, the Ludovico, which is the guitar, the other guitar player, now is a full-time musician because he's um, he lives on music also with uh, uh, his other band, uh, Delane, and now we joined uh, Delane is a symphonic metal band, mm-hmm. and then uh, um, Luca is a producer, so he's a, he has his own uh, music studio and he produces uh, music and records so many albums you can't you couldn't believe. Federico, uh, which is the drummer. Is uh, also um, he plays drums, uh, also live shows for for other bands. As mm-hmm. a in Italy, we call it turnista. When you when you go there and uh, basically you're not part of the band, mm-hmm. but you are you are just the the live performer. Uh huh. In the and Mirko Mirko Benati, which is the backbone of the modern age slavery. Without him, uh, we would get lost because he's the, the 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 driving the driving energy of of the band. He has. Uh, um, his own uh, his own firm, his own um, business, mm-hmm. and uh, they, they 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 produce uh, Italian cheese, very nice Italian cheese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, do you like to to be a professor? Yeah, I love it. Uh-huh. It's uh, amazing. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's great. It's uh, I have the chance to. To interact with a lot of students, I have the chance to see amazing things in technology. Some of them are uh-huh. yeah, yeah, really impressive. So yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a job that is very time consuming and energy consuming, but I love it. Uh-huh. These two, these are the two passions of mine. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, my job, my job, and my band. Now a funny question: If you could be part of any band in the history of music, it's in an imaginary world. <laughs> Which band would be and why? Well, I would go. I would go with Pantera, and because uh, they've been on the top of the world for a decade. I mean, and the, the attitude that they, they, I mean, they, they changed my my youth <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, now they're back I mean obviously that's not the same band as before but mm-hmm. they will be coming in Bologna in June ah, uh, yeah and I'm I'm curious to see how they feel because I mean the last time I saw I saw them was yeah in Italy for uh, the tour of uh, reventing the steel yeah they're, mm-hmm. oh. and uh, yeah so yeah then I saw I saw Philip Anselmo with all his other bands, also. But uh, yeah, in, in terms of uh, uh, yeah, the style of singing is uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. it, 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 yeah, it taught it taught a lot. Yeah, so uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's the, the, the band I would join. Uh-huh. I don't know how because I mean, the, the that's the one of the best uh, um, frontmen of all time. At this moment in time, the band I would choose is Slipknot. From Brazil, do you like any band? 
Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, we covered Sepultura because if you go back to <laughs> a long time ago, uh, we've been listening. I've been we've been playing with the with the new Sepultura with the new singer, but we we covered the rise in our in Requiem for Us All. So I'm sorry that I'm naming all '90s band, but uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's where my, my my most of the culture that I still get attached to comes from. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I would I would name them. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you needed to live inside the cover art of any album, of any band, uh, which would be and why? Uh, the cover art of any <laughs> band and why? Well, <laughs> then I, I would pick Iron Maiden. It looks like fun to be around Eddie. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I like the cover also from the Dream, Dream Theater, even if it's a progressive band. The, the, I don't, I, I'm not a truly fan of prog, prog metal, but Dream Theater I like. If you could uh, have any superpower, <laughs> what would be and why? Superpower? A uh, laser beam from my eyes like Superman. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'll, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go being able being able to build the Iron Man suit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> And, and do you have a, a dream, Giovanni, for your life, for the band, for humankind? Do you have a dream? A dream from for, for the band? Well, <laughs> the dream is a worldwide tour. <laughs> I mean, at the moment we've been touring. Uh, we've been touring just Europe, but uh, I would, I would, I would love to go to. I would, I would love to come to America, South America, mm-hmm. uh, Canada. I would love to go to Japan and Asia. So for the the band, the dream would be to play live uh, everywhere possible. Well, the dream for mankind is not uh, is not to get stupid. I mean, because at the moment, I don't know. I mean, we have so much means to be connected. We are over connected, over connected. So it's always uh, it it's becoming all the time uh, very difficult to understand what is real what is fake what is true what is not true so my dream for my cam is to not let uh, uh, not let technology to take over mm-hmm. <laughs> at the moment you can also you can also produce music with interfe- uh, artificial intelligence that's ridiculous i think i think my dream for mankind is not to lose his art and, and now your next steps we got into looking for um, festivals uh, with this release a little bit late, so we will be playing in the in the summer. But uh, hopefully, hopefully the, the 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 season starting from September will be the real good season to 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 take the album around. So yeah, our first mission is is uh, I mean we that's that's why we go in the studio and uh, not because we love the studio but because we love to play live. Mm-hmm. So basically the album is 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 the work the the boring part of the work no, no it's not boring but it's the the hard part of the work the nice part of the work is when when you get back uh you know the the fruit of your of your work which is for us is playing live so hopefully we will start uh, we will start live shows again also because i mean during this uh, these years uh, the two years of lockdown they've been uh, very bad so what did you do uh, during the pandemic times Ah well, basically, I was I was in the U.S. at that time, and then when the pandemic started, I flew back to Italy because I could not stay in the U.S. anymore. I was supposed to stay in the U.S. for six months, and uh, I I landed in Italy where when uh, my region here was closing. So basically, we started the lockdown in the hard way, uh-huh. and uh, yeah, I mean we started also with the band to to try to get a way to produce music even from distance so the the guitar player was was recording his stuff that was sending over to me and i was trying to do something good out of it so we experienced in the hard way how it is to compose to compose music from distance that's what we did 
the metal scene in Italy. <laughs> Comparing Italy to other other places is that sometimes uh, the listeners are, li are a little bit lazy. So mm. <laughs> they just uh, keep on listening to the same band over and over again and they don't uh, truly support... Uh, no, some people they do. I'm not saying that everything is like that. But um, uh, in, other, in other countries in Europe, it's a little bit easier for this kind of music to spread, mm -hmm. especially, especially Germany or Northern Europe. Uh, in Italy, in Italy, it's okay. I mean, uh, there are there are some uh, live clubs, but the, the organizer they all always struggle to 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 to, to keep their passion going on because, uh, uh, yeah, it's not it's not uh, it's not that easy to 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 survive the the market the bit the the. the, the but yeah, but I, we can't we can't complain. I mean, at the moment there are there are in the metal scene from Italy there are also a lot of very nice bands. I would say you know Flesh God Apocalypse, for instance. Okay, Lacuna Coil are another kind of 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 of, uh, of metal. But uh, yeah, there are there are some very very nice acts. Mm -hmm. so. Giovanni Berselli, uh, thank you so much for your time. I love it to talk to you. And Hawkmania is always available. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very very much. And uh, well, a big uh, thank you also to all the listeners. So give it, give, give to the Modern Age Slavery. Uh, uh, check out the Modern Age Slavery album. Okay. Hopefully, come see us live someday. Yes, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Bye, bye, my friend. Thank bye, you. Bye, my friend. Bye, Ciao. bye.